Jonathan and I have just said, it's quite remarkable when something feels familiar and yet it's new at the same time. That's the iPhone 5C. That's exactly what he said about the I iOS 7 as well, actually. Yeah, so, so Schiller is back on stage, so hopefully this... this so the iPhone 5S. They've the iPhone 5S. About this. Hooray. Here we go, here we go. 5S. Thought was going to be Perhaps the most forward-thinking phone anyone has ever made. Is he, he didn't say... Oh. I'm not going to do his voice. I can't do his voice. Oh. He sounds like Deirdre Polo. Yeah. Sorry. The iPhone 5C. Uh, metal is flowing on the video preview, apparently. I imagine that it's going to be a metal-backed phone, uh, very much as what we've seen uh, from the rumors. And it's gold. Great. I am not buying one of the... Help, 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 everyone. Help. Oh, God. Oh, slate, slate, gold, and silver. Okay, I'll go with yes. slate. I like my slate iPhone. Oh, gold is awful. Gold. Help. Please help. <laughs> this is the end of days. Yeah, Joe, yeah I know. As a I long know. Oh, God. As a long-time Apple fan, this is the end of days. Seriously. The, the slate mean, and the silver don't look too bad. They're bearable. They're, they're fine. Is, they're beautiful. It's just the gold just does look, not. Again, I, I do have to defend the gold or the sharp or whatever they're going to. No, no, you don't. Just don't. Don't defend it at all, ever. Burn them. <laughs> so the problem is, here's the thing, you have to, and not everyone likes all colors. I mean, like some people like red, some people like blue, some green, I mean, different colors for different people. I, you know, I think it's okay for them to get a little more expansion in the, in the oh, product line. Oh, no, oh, no. So, have, you, have you heard the names of them? This is even better. Oh, no. The names are Silver Gold and New Space Grey. New Space Grey. They've moved away from Slate. They've gone to right. New Space Grey. So, so Phil Schiller said, he just said, and he had to do this, it's the gold standard in smartphones. Blech. Funny. This is why this is <laughs> even my producer's shaking his head. He's a funny guy. Yes. Joe. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um yeah, I don't I don't like the look of I like this. This is a nice back. This 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 is a good back. Slate is kind of nice. So, so it's got an A7 chip. It's a 64-bit chip. So this is it. This is the big thing about the iPhone. 5S is it architecturally? This is different. This is a. This is a. This is, this is exactly where Apple was sorry, always going to go. Was okay. Because Apple are using. Uh, um, for those of you who don't know, the OS on their computers and the OS on their phones is very, very close, almost identical. Right. Because luckily they use. Um, I can't remember. Off, off the top of my OS head, 10, it, Mac kernel, and BSD. It's pretty damn portable. Yeah, basically. it's right. Yeah, it, that was one of the benefits of when they switched to BSD was that they could then go to mobile as well. So the secret so new feature... iOS 7 is 64-bit. That was the secret new thing about iOS 7 is that it was always 64-bit, but they didn't want to tell you that because then you'd know about the hardware. Yeah. I, I don't know whether the releases so far would have been 64-bit, you know. Well, we, we, we had no hardware to test it on, did we? So you're talking about the A7. A billion... 64-bit so desktop class. Desktop class. I want it to What's be workstation class, and I want it to be workstation class, and I want there to be like a huge heat sink on the back. I don't want to overclock it. <laughs> I imagine that someone will make um, a, a jailbreak for it so you could overclock it. No, that's been doable for years, actually. Yeah, but even more so when it's 64-bit. It's interesting that they're saying, you know, it's 64-bit. Like, that's very speeds and feeds, and that's not the Apple I'd, I know. I'd say, though, that I'd... No, but this is an S. Remember, this is what the S always stood for, was speed. I'm, I'm right. not surprised that this is... Uh, but, and there's, so the whole other thing on the 64 bit is interesting. I mean, that tells you, again, they're trying to um, get the, uh, you know, that market move forward so that people who are using smartphones, and especially 